Hello, I'm Zed Survivor. Some of you may know that I'm a PvP veteran, and today I will give you a guide on PvP. How it works is most servers will have the safety system. The safety system is simple. As long as one player has it off, he can hurt and be hurt. You will see someone with safety system off, aka PvP on, with a skull next to his name. First, we will go through melee combat. You can hit people with melee weapons and this can cause injuries such as scratches, lacerations and deep wounds. Overall in-game PvP is really dependent of player skills and melee weapon you currently have. In melee combat your strength directly emphasizes the damage you do to players. The weapon you will have is very very important as it will be a difference between life and death. When standing still you charge your hits and you have more chance to hit someone's critical spot like torso, neck or head. After testing, we found out that critical spots deal significantly more damage, while hands or legs deal much less damage. But I can't really tell you which is better, to move around and hit, or stand still and charge your hits. They both work well. It is best to run away if facing an enemy with a better weapon, and armor doesn't help at all. Hitting a player from his back doesn't make any difference, and knife jaw stab animation doesn't do any difference either. Spears cannot one-shot a player like it does with zombies, but spears are nonetheless very good against players. You can also charge attack a player, but it's hard to hit as the player will move out of range before the animation is finished, and the charge attack is also counted as a regular attack, so it's not worth doing it. Players can fall to ground where you can stomp them. Players will quickly get up, but you have a great opportunity to deal extra damage. You can also kill a person without a weapon by shoving them and stomping them. Even though it's clunky, as whole PvP system is right now, you will be able to kill a player this way. Better shoes deal better damage, you can even deal bleeding wounds with these attacks. When testing, I realized that ground attacks are extremely powerful and kill you quickly, so the main point of melee PvP is dropping someone to the ground and stun locking him. Some weapons are better than others, axes, long blunt, knives and spears all can knock you down easily, while others don't really knock you down as much. We tested melee weapon skill, and this actually doesn't increase damage, but increases hit speed and knockdown chance, which makes weapons that don't knock you down more effective. There are also many debuffs, such as being injured, that will emphasize on your melee strength. Now, let's talk about some tactics. If you sneak up on your enemy, you're already at a huge advantage. If you start hitting first, you're much more likely to kill the person. When you start hitting someone, do not stop. If you already took damage, do not fall back. Keep hitting, because if you try to fall back, you're likely gonna get stunned and killed, and the enemy has better chance of staying alive because you didn't do enough damage. If you get attacked by someone first, the only way you're surviving if you have better melee weapon, more skill and strength. Your best bet here is to just hit the player as many times as you can, and try to kill him before he kills you. Who knows, you might get lucky, and stun lock him, and he's dead. When you do kill the player, your first priority is to heal yourself. Heal critical parts like neck, head, torso, then arms and legs. If you're up against a firearm, the only way of killing a player like that is sneaking up on him, or if he has low aiming level, he will miss you and you just sprint up to him and stun lock him. If he does have aiming level, you will die. Only gun that worked with zero aiming was the sawn off shotgun, because you get a green outline instantly and you're able to stun lock the enemy. The best way of dispatching someone that has a firearm is hiding in closed spaces and running out of a room where he won't be able to react and get stun locked. If you have a firearm and no skill, try using melee instead, as it is more effective. Now it's time for firearm combat. There are a few firearms you can choose from. Firearm encounters will greatly depend on your aiming level. If you have aiming level 0, you're better off using a shotgun. Same as melee weapons, you're at a great advantage if you attack first. Injuries will cause the enemy to have less accuracy and you will have more chance of winning. Make sure to have medical supplies such as suture needle and tweezers because you will have lodged bullets. Armor helps, bulletproof vests will protect you, also with level 10 tailoring, your leather strips patches can add 10% bullet defense which can be stacked and protect you a lot. But be careful, body parts with no armor can still get shot so cover up as much as possible. With aiming level, throw away the shotgun and use something better for added longer range and attack speed such as M9 or M14. Desert Eagle and Magnum also work great as they have better damage. One great strat is to take a hunting rifle and a pistol. Just remember to put attachments on it or else it won't be that good. Most importantly, an 8x zoom scope so you can have better range. 
You can snipe people from very long distance and if they get close, whip out your secondary and kill them. If you get really lucky and find an M16, this weapon is an absolute killing machine. Do not even carry a secondary pistol or sniper, sprint full speed at someone and just hold left click. This thing shreds players. Now let's talk about tactics. As I said, if you attack first, you're highly likely to kill the player. So be aggressive. Dependable of what gear you have, use shotguns at low level, but do not waste M16s or sniper rifles if you have level 0 aiming. When fighting, stand your ground and don't move left and right. It doesn't help and it's pointless. Stand your ground and wait for player to become green, then shoot. Make sure to use your aiming to see longer distances and scout ahead. Using a hunting rifle, you can snipe people without them even being able to hit you. But if we're gonna be honest, rifles are very situational. Most universal guns for every combat situation are M14 and M16. You can change range with attachments, they shoot fast, they're good both at short and long range. Something players mostly get confused with is cover. You cannot crouch behind things to hide from bullets. This includes vehicles. Our next quick topic is team fights. These are very dependent of your teamwork. In melee combat, you must be careful not to hit your teammates, and same as in firearms, one extremely important thing is microing. When you're low on health, fall back and let your friend take over. When attacking, counter enemy microing by focusing on that player so you can kill him and get him out of the fight. In firearm fights, it's easier to micro, get the cover if you get shot, heal and fall back if needed. With teams, you can have more different weapons for different situations. You can have people with shotguns and armor on the first lines. Then you can have people with rifles to do long-range encounters. What I like to do is when looting high-risk areas, I tell one of my teammates to hide inside a high place and scout the area, like the military checkpoint watchtower. More teammates you have, the more likely you are to win a fight, because you're microing and spread the damage between each other. Last topic is positioning. For offense when looting, be careful and use aiming to see longer range. If you see a player, be aggressive and attack. Dependable of what weapon you have, use it the most advantage you can. If you have a shotgun, get as close as possible. If you have a rifle, use the range. Always be aggressive when attacking. If you have an M16, even if facing multiple opponents, push in and shoot. If you have aiming level, you will most likely win the encounter. If you have teammates, immediately surround the area so nobody can escape. Micro by peeking around corners, and when shot, fall back, let your teammates flank. More people, the better. You have an advantage in almost every aspect. The best tactic I have is use a car. Do drive-bys as they're extremely effective. You can fall back easily, and both shoot and run over your victims. Now, as defense, make sure to check your surroundings while looting. Don't let anyone sneak up on you. If you have teammates, make one of them a guard. So when you finish looting, give him your backpack and ask for his so you can finish up. If someone manages to sneak up on you, immediately call your teammates if you have them. And return fire. The sooner you return fire, the better. Being indoors is bad, as you can get shot from multiple directions. The enemy can swap windows and shoot you through every single one of them and you will basically play whack-a-mole. You can also use this to your advantage when attacking. When facing a drive-by, you gotta use the only things you have to your advantage. If you do outgun your opponent, you can of course just riddle him with bullets. This works if you have better gear and better aiming skill. The thing I mean with only things you have to your advantage is fences and trees. Cars can't pass through those, but you can. So lose the vehicle and get away. Usually retreating works, run to a forest and use map knowledge to know where you run as some forests can end quickly or you can get into a dead end. If you wish to loot the corpse of your enemy and cannot because of zombies, just grab the whole corpse and run somewhere safe. Remember, the things he had in his hands will drop to the ground though. And now it's time for the tip of the video. Test all firearms and do your research for them, you gotta know how they work, their range, and all the other things. Try different attachments too. I can also advise you to check out my firearm guides. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this long video, hope you learned something new. Please note that the videos you saw are all not real, they're not on a public server. 
This is just for visual entertainment. And so you understand what I mean when I talk. This was just us friends testing things out and just recording so you know what it looks like or give you an idea of PvP situations. Thank you for watching and I will see you all in my next video.